Hello everyone, I am Riyazul Lakhmiya from Information System Design and Data Science course and today I am going to present second part of this lecture Understanding Computer Hardware and Related Technical English I hope you guys enjoyed the first part and learn the basic English related to the computer hardware like CPU, memory, primary memory, secondary memory, virtual memory and interface and how it works. I also hope you enjoyed the first part and eager to view the second part. So before going to the second part, please make sure to submit your homework or assignment for the first part. Well, so this is the second part where we try to study about the English word and some story computer in present, past and future. So the computer we see right now is not like then in like that in long long before and also definitely will not remain same after long long year so this section we're going to show we're going to learn where we're going to enjoy this change of computer throughout the decades and we learn and know the changes it's very interesting and during learning these i will add some caption japanese subtitle so that you can capture what i am telling in english also try to learn through listening english so let's start to learn about i would like to tell you first with a computer have a computer so let's move to the desired slide for this think about the thing if all the computer turns off together right now what happened the world becomes dark because the power grids are shut down it crashes all the world the planes will be fall down the water supply stop the stock market will be freezed so nothing in happen in the world it could be possible to continue and here is a, some example where we use the computer starting from the rocket satellite post system your vending machine automobile traffic light everywhere in, including the home appliances Nowadays, it is very difficult to find out the list where the computer is not used. It's a very robust application in various aspects, all our computer. And if you think that the computer can not just do the computing, it's running the whole internet, it's having the artificial brain, and it can simulate the universe. But the most interesting thing is that all the thing that computer is doing is just the flipping of zeros and ones that's very interesting that the computer doesn't understand anything except the zero and in part one we learn about the hardware so this time in part two let's learn a little about software so before going to the software architecture as i said it, it's intangible and it cannot be visible so the software having two parts the software system total system and the program actually total system build a complete packages having a combination of a lot of small programs for example if you can consider the software system the word processor microsoft word we call it is a system that having a lot of program and program itself is a set of instruction that tells the computer to do a very specific thing. We also call it the code. And this is the typical hierarchical structure 
So on top of hardware, we have an operating system, as all of you know. So that operating system usually called the via between the interface between the software application and the hardware. So all the application like the word processor is run through the hardware with the help of operating systems. So the example of operating system is like uh, iOS, in Windows, Linux, Mac, uh, etc. Now this is the quiz for part two. So what you have to do, you read the paragraph English here carefully and listen the previous part that I have talked and write Japanese of this paragraph. So read this English paragraph and whatever you understand from this reading and also from the listening part that I have discussed before gather this information together and write Japanese summary and submit it on Moodle on part 2 in 50 years ago so there are some generation of computer but this slide I don't intend to show you the generation but the thing is that would end show the earlier we followed the manual computer this is abacus many market in Japan you can get this type of device this is used to compute computing various arithmetic in earlier before inventing the computer and then this is one of the world most powerful supercomputer right now with some so this is a gap of hundreds of years so the that's the that's the generation call sometime but here i want to share that the vacuum tube and then the revolution of com transistor and after all the integrated circuit and right now we are the era of the very large scale integration so is microprocessor having billions of circuit so this is the steps that we consider for various generation and the, we are now in the modern computing era that we called one more thing that i would like to discuss there's a few terms are used to represent the computer performance etc so here you are operation bit this is a capacity of a processor in the early processor it was only the four bit i mean a processor can operate only four bit data at a time but nowadays is going to one uh, 128 bits on computer some of the modern computer are capable to process a data with 128 bit at a time with a single instruction regarding the clock speed the early computer was measured in a kilohertz scale but now it's down to gigahertz the number of transistor in the early computer was a few thousand but now is the processor having billions of transistors? Same for the core, the early modern computer having a single core, but very recent it's increasing and it's now sometimes more than 100 in a computer. In case of supercomputers, few thousand. Also, in the processing, the early modern computer having the single instruction at a time sequentially with a single data, but now we have superscalar. It can be able to operate multiple data and multiple instruction simultaneously at a time. 